Good morning everyone. This is HP Omen laptop, the model number 17-CK1000. One of the decent gaming laptop from HP, comes with RTX 3080 Ti Core i7 latest processor. Look at the charger, how huge it is. 330 watts. Compared to a small factor PC, this is almost similar, as you can see. By the way, today in this video, we're going to show you how to install Windows 11 in EVFI environment. To do that, first of all, you should have one bootable Windows 10 or 11 EVFI thumb drive. If you don't know how to create one, you can check. The video link could be in the description. Okay. So once you have that, once you create it in correct way, first of all, we're going to connect into any USB port. And also, we're going to make sure the charger is connected because during the installation, we don't want to see any interruption from the power cut. All right, so let's put it in another USB port in that way. And also, I would like to use external mouse because during the Windows installation, some laptops, their trackpad get disabled or driver failure. So that's the reason it doesn't work. So to have external mouse would be best. Then press and hold the power button to switch it off completely. And then simultaneously keep pressing F10 to get into BIOS. Most of the laptop from HP, the BIOS key F10. So here is the BIOS screen, as you can see. This is the first one, which is called main. There is nothing to do. This is all about the machine details, time and date, model number, serial number, part and everything. So we're not going to change anything instead. We're going to get into configuration and change the language. So let me show you what is next. So this machine bought it from China and it was in different language. So if you get into configuration, top of the list, you can choose the preferred language. So as you can see, this is in Chinese now. If I would like to change, I'm going to go into that configuration and then top of the list, I'm going to click here and choose English as I prefer. Okay. So once it's done, there is pretty much everything. This page has to be like this. And security, the TPM has to be enabled exactly like that way. So the security section settings should be like that. Just double check. This is switched off. And if you click again, switched on for TPM. And trackpad also does work. I thought it's not going to work, which is fine. So if you don't have external mouse, it should be fine. Then let's get into configuration. From here, it should be like that. Double check. This is, to be honest, a default settings. Then get to, into boot configuration. Here is the couple of things we must need to make sure in the correct form. Right, so USB boot has to be enabled. Click like that. That is enabled now. The network disabled. That's okay. And the secure boot has to be enabled. That is the most important. There is no joke. Okay. And once we've done that way, pretty much that's all. And now, if you look at into the right hand side, you can see that it says boot order, which is boot priority order. Now, here is the cool thing. If you would like to get the top one into the bottom, then what you need to do, click and drag down like this. So for example, the bottom one is my bootable USB. If I click again and drag into the top, that's going to be boot priority, first choice from the boot order. Okay. And pretty much that's all. Now we're going to save these changes and system would restart and it's going to turn up from this bootable USB like that. Say yes. And it's going to restart and the main Windows installation would begin or if you'd like to get into temporary boot while it's restarting keep pressing f9 so you can get into temporary boot option directly like that and it's going to show you all the available boot options for this machine as you can see the top one is my usb so if i select that one and hit enter it's going to boot up from the usb like that so we to take couple of minutes could be less it depend on how fast is your computer how fast is your usb and the usb port and soon we're going to see windows setup page from here 
So it's loading up now. Don't think this is frozen or stuck. This is the way it is in the setup. Starting page, it takes a couple of minutes. Here we go. So from here, we're going to choose the language, region, whatever you prefer. That's all fine. I'm going to hit next. Now, here is the main thing. As you can see, there are a lot of partition because of inside this PC, there are two internal SSD. Okay. And I can see there are many partition. Now I'm going to show you how to break the partition and make it as many as you want or if you want to keep it just one or two. Okay. By the way, if you do that, you're going to lose all the existing data. So be careful. And like this, select it and press on delete. It's going to delete all the data and the partition itself. And it's going to create an allocated space. Okay. And once everything deleted, as you can see, it's getting reduced. It shows like a couple of them now, because those are the drive, drive zero and drive one. So I'm going to uh, break the drive zero into a couple of partitions or could be three. It depends. So whatever you would like, you can put them out and it's going to create like that, which is simple. All right, the system is ready, but we need to do one thing. We need to change the boot order because we put USB thumb drive as a primary boot order. So what you need to do, restart it. And while you restart, keep pressing F9. Sorry, keep pressing F10 to get into BIOS and then get back to boot configuration or boot options. And from here, the OS manager, which is the current Windows, we're going to put it top of the list and save the changes and exit it. And it's going to restart and turn up from the internal SSD where we installed the Windows 11. So finally, it's done. All working fine. You might get some difficulties with the drivers. Don't worry. Just do have the cable connection for Internet first and then go to Windows Update and update all the drivers from official site. That should be fine. If you'd like to know how to correctly update your laptop's driver, then you can check another video link could be in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope I'll see in the next video. Bye for now.